Eight months ago, I reviewed Domo AI's groundbreaking video to video generation features, but a lot has changed since then, from launching their website to rolling out powerful new tools like advanced video to video models, animation upgrades, a lip sync feature, and even an image restyle tool. In today's video, we'll dive into all these exciting updates and explore how they can supercharge your content creation process. Let's Let's dive right in. Once you come to the Domo AI website, which I'll leave the link in the description box, you are brought to this page, which has the four major tools, video, animate, gen, and move. We'll review just a couple of these based on what has been updated. First, we'll review the image restyle feature. This feature changes the image from its existing style to another style. Click on this and it opens up. In the left hand corner, you can input a prompt or an image here and choose the style you want. Let's start with an image. Click and upload any image of your choice. In the prompt box type, red hair girl, choose the style. We'll be reviewing three of the styles that I find very interesting. Click on this. The first style that we'll be checking out would be Restyle V17 Digital Illusion. Illustration. Select that and here it would ask you what you want to refer to. Do you want it more stylized or more original? We use more stylized to suit the new style that we want to switch the image to. And then in terms of the face sync, switch it on because we want the new image to retain the facial features and then no watermark. Click on generate and this will start generating. It will take a couple of minutes and the result will be out. Four images were created, the first one, second, third and fourth. So you could go ahead and choose what is very similar to the original image. I like this and go ahead and click on this button here that says upscale image. It would go ahead to start upscaling the image. Once that is done, you can click on the download button to get the image saved on your computer. The next style I also wanted to show would be the anime style. Come in here and choose the anime style and then leave the settings and the prompt as it is and then go ahead and click on generate. Also we'll be looking at one more style which is the restyle flat illustration. I'll just click on this as well and then click on generate. Once these are done we will go ahead and see what the results look like. These are the results from the anime style and these are from the flat illustration. As you can, they turned out to look good. The restyle tool could be very useful in different scenarios and projects. The next feature I will be showing you will be the video to video tool. By the way, if you are new here, I am Zinni. I make videos on how to use AI tools to create different types of faceless YouTube channels and have online businesses to help you generate passive income. If these topics interest you, make sure to subscribe to get videos just like this one. Talking about how to start a faceless YouTube channel. I've been getting lots of messages from you all about starting and growing a faceless YouTube channel with AI. It's been amazing to see how excited a lot of you are about this. I've been thinking a lot about how I can support my community even more. That's why I'm so excited to share the Zinni's Elite Circle with you. It's a space where we can work together, dive into strategies, tackle challenges, and share tips to help you grow your channel. Right now, we're starting with a wait list. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'd love for you to join the wait list and be the first to know when it's ready to launch. I can't wait to start this journey with you. Once you click on this, it will open this page. It will give you the prompt box, ask you to upload your image, choose your style, choose the duration, put in the reference, the aspect ratio, and then the advanced settings. Here I will go ahead to upload the video that I want to restyle or it could do that as well here. I will be using a video of the character we created in our last two tutorials on the channel. Click here and go ahead and upload that video. In the prompt box, 
I would type girl in fight mode. As you can see, the video has been uploaded and then go ahead and choose the style you want. I will be trying a couple of styles. For the first style, I'll be using the illustration V1.3. Just look for that and select. I will select three seconds as the length of video I want to generate. And then I'll use more of the video based style because I want to maintain the aesthetics of the video. Then in terms of lip syncing, I'll leave it turned off because this video doesn't have mouth movement. Then I'll go ahead and click on generate. I will use the same steps to generate multiple anime and illustration styles. Once the generation is done, I will show us what was generated for each style. This is the first style that I created from the illustration V1.3. You can see how this looks. It kind of mimics the original video, but you could see that it changed the face and a bit of how it looks to the 3D cartoon style. The next style that I generated was the Uyoki E style. In this particular style, you could see that it maintains a background similar to the original which is good it changed the character to a Japanese style character but you could see that it tried to maintain both the clothing the hand and the sword which is good playing the video it looks good the next style that I tried was illustration v9 this particular illustration showed more details but morphed this a little bit here you could see some sort of blade pointing out and then it modified the dressing just a bit overall not bad the next style that i tested was the anime version 6 this style made the character a little bit darker i'm not sure why but it maintained the aesthetics of the dress of the character as well as giving it the anime style based on the face the last style that i tested was the 3d cartoon style as you can see here, that's version 1.1, while the one I tested previously was version 1.3. This also turned out well. There are a couple of use case scenarios for this tool. For example, if you want to switch the entire video from one particular animation style to another, this is the tool for it. I'm not sure there's any other AI tool out there right now that could switch between styles, especially to anime styles apart from Domo AI. But if you know any other one, let me know in the comment section. These are the styles I was able to generate using the base video. Now, let me show you the lip syncing feature. If you watched my full course on how to create anime using AI. The main character in the storyline was singing at some point. I will be using the part she was singing to test this feature, bringing in that clip and I will convert it to a different style and see what that looks like. To do that, which is similar to the previous process, you click on this and then you go ahead and drop in the video. I'll choose the flat anime versions one style and then I'll just generate a three second video. Use more of the video for reference. I'll use the auto for the aspect ratio or you could choose any aspect ratio you want. Then remember to switch on the lip sync and then click on generate. It will start generating just to show you the one I generated earlier. You could see this is how it looks, which is not bad. It tried to mimic what was originally in the video provided. And then now we'll play it and look at the mouth and see if it's lip synced. In the shadows, moonlight leaving. Okay, just for these three seconds, it's actually lip synced this character, which is really cool. This can be done for multiple use case scenarios or projects that you're working on. This is how the video to video feature works. And the new thing about it is that it initially used version one, I can remember, but right now this tool uses version two to generate its videos. Now that we have covered the video, the next feature I will be covering is the animate feature. Feature. So to animate this or a particular image, you click on animate. It brings you to this page, upload the image you want to animate. I uploaded this and in the prompt box typed in girl in a fight pose, which is the same prompt I used in the video feature. And then here, as I said earlier, they have the new model version 2.0. You can also see the previous version, but we won't be using that. Then it has a duration of five seconds or 10 seconds, which is very typical of a lot of animation AI 
high tools out there at the moment. In terms of the aspect ratio, you choose what you want and then choose no watermark then go ahead and click on generate in the process of me testing the animate feature i generated three different videos and i will explain why the first video i animated came out good with nothing morphing in the second video you could see that it morphed the eyes and a little bit of the hands i am showing this so you keep in mind that you might generate a video once and it might not look right at first just go ahead to regenerate and you will get a better video like the first one I showed. In this video, we covered the video animate and image restyle features, but how much does it cost to use? I know a lot of people have asked me for free alternatives. At this point in the AI space, a lot of good AI tools are not free, but I will look into free options in subsequent videos. But for Domo AI, this is the plan for the basic, standard, and pro monthly plans. And this is for yearly in case you want to test this out they're currently giving discounts on all their plans which will be concluded on january 1st so you have the opportunity to try it out and see if it is a fit for your project that's an overview of the new features in domo ai comment below to let me know your thoughts about these new features thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one